Hey everybody, Marcus here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, I've got the uh, DJI Air 3S with me today, and uh, I'm at a little park, a Boise City Park called Molinar Park. I chose this location not because there's necessarily anything spectacular to look at, uh, however, it is within about two miles of uh, the Boise Airport, and it's within Class C airspace. Uh, just recently, DJI now has removed geofencing from our drones. Uh, so in other words, you, all, you still have to comply with all the FAA regulations, and in this case, I got Lance approval. I'll put that up on the screen right now. Uh, in fact, I'll show you a series of the uh, screens that I used uh, to get Lance approval and uh, got that all done. So we're eligible to fly up to 400 feet where I'm standing right now. Uh, but it's right directly in the flyway to the airport. And I chose this drone because it's got the telephoto on there and we'll be able to kind of show you where the airport is at and so forth. And also, this drone also has an ADS-B receiver within it. So we should be able to see manned aircraft as they're going by. Now, obviously we're a couple miles out, so there's typically an aircraft is not going to be as low as we are right here. Again, you still have to comply with all regulations, see and avoid, and all of that uh, stuff. You avoid manned aircraft with a drone. However, what I want to try is DJI's removal of geofencing. The geofencing as of yesterday, the 13th of January, uh, is gone. And if you update the FlySafe database on your drone, you can then fly without getting uh, DJI approval. We used to have to go through two steps. You'd get the Lance approval from the FAA, but then you also had to submit to DJI that you were approved to fly in that area. Uh, otherwise, your drone wouldn't even take off. So they've removed that now. It'll still get, supposedly, I haven't looked at it yet, but supposedly it'll still give you a warning. We'll look at that together. Uh, so how do you do that? Well, I'll show you on the screen. I'll show you some screenshots from when I did my uh, DJI Mini 4K. Uh, when you fire up the Fly app, it should ask you up in the top right, do you want to update the FlySafe database? You click yes, you just let it go through its update, and you're good to go. Now, uh, if, you, if it doesn't, if you don't see that, you can also force an update, and I'll show you where you can do that once we get the drone fired up here. Uh, but uh, yeah, in any case, let's, uh, we're, I've already got the Lance approval all set up. We're ready to fly here. This is kind of an interesting little park. They got a dog park here. They got a, a, a skating uh, area, skate park. Uh, and then there's a pond on the other side. Uh, and again, it's a really cold winter's day, but I wanna put this guy up in the air and, uh, and let's see how easy it is to take off without that geofencing that DJI has always had on their drones since 2016. I think that's a great thing. However, as uh, drone pilots or drone operators, it's our responsibility to make sure that we fly legally and that we're flying, uh, that we get Lance approval whenever we're in controlled airspace like I am now. Again, this is Class C controlled airspace uh, with the Boise Airport, and I think I'm within a couple of miles of the airport or so. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air, and let's uh, take a look uh, at how easy it is and what kind of warnings we get. And, uh, and we'll just take a look at this park as well. So it's going to be a fairly short flight, but we're going to have fun. Let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, I've got a screen recorder started, and as you can see right off the bat, uh, we're getting a warning uh, from DJI that we're in an enhanced warning zone, fly with caution, and I have to agree that I'm assuming uh, full responsibility. So I'm going to check that box, and, uh, and there we go, and hit confirm. And yeah, that looks like that's all we have to do, uh, all we have to do. And I don't know if you can see off in the distance, there's aircraft going into the uh, Boise Airport there. It's gonna be awful small on the action camera. Uh, but uh, 
yeah, I think that's all we need to do to take off. Um, let's go through our safety uh, checklist here real quick. We're in bypass mode, normal uh, options there. Radar map is on. Optimal return to home. As we know, this drone will land in that exact same spot. It's amazing. Uh, return to home altitude I have at 98 feet. That's more than we need to be, but we'll leave it at that. Uh, and uh, and we're below max legal. Max legal is 400 feet. I've got it set at 393. No limit. Not asking for any calibrations, either the IMU or the compass. Uh, and then let's look at the battery and the uh, battery's looking good as we would expect it to be. Now I want to show you the about page. Uh, where you can force that update. Now, if you look down here at the bottom, you'll see Fly Safe Database and that button that says Check for Updates. Uh, I, because I'm not connected to the internet right now, that won't do anything for us, but uh, if you were to do this at home, if you click that Check for Updates, it, if there is a Fly Safe uh, update available, uh, that's where you can uh, upload it, and you're going to have to do that uh, to get rid of the geofencing on your drone. But looks like we're good to go here. Uh, so let's see, we're shooting in 4K60, and I don't know, you know, I'm looking at little, uh, you know, little aircraft flying over here right now, and we're, but we're okay for 400 feet. Again, see and avoid, right? We're going to stay out of their way. But let's go ahead and start recording, and uh, and I'm going to do a. Uh, well, heck, let's do an automated takeoff. And boom. And that's simple. The drone fired up, no problem, right? Uh, and you wouldn't have been able to do that not long ago. GeoZone, in effect, it's giving us that warning. So we're going to click OK. Uh, so, so they're giving you a couple of warnings that, the, that there's a GeoZone. We're going to go up about 21 feet here. And the drone has uh, gets a good look at its uh, it's at, at its home point, and what you're looking at right now is the uh, you're looking at the uh, the dog park, and I like how they've they've got it uh, fenced off, and it's a great area for people to run their dogs. And again, I don't know if you remember, we had a 400 foot authorization, so we can go up as high as 400 feet. We don't really need to go that high, but let's get up about. Uh, I don't know, 100 feet or so, and we can get a look around at the uh, at the park here. Look at that dog park, and I assume one of these areas is for big dogs, and another one is for smaller dogs. Let me kind of move around, uh, and I noticed on my radar there on the screen, I had a little red mark at the back of the drone. I suspect that's because of the uh, of the sun. And look, if you. you I don't know, I'll see if I can switch to the action cam there. You see a big airliner coming in, and he looks awful low, but believe it or not, he's he's up there a ways. And uh, so, so yeah, let me show you the park. And we're gonna stay out of, uh, out of everybody's way here. Obviously, you cannot fly over people. So we're gonna kinda snake our way through here. And I think we can do this. In fact, I think we can go this way we can go over the edge of the dog park here, and we're not going to be over the top of anybody. And we'll get kind of out over the uh, the, the greater part of the park itself. Let me pick up that camera a little bit so you can see. So yeah, there's a big yeah. So, so there we're getting a manned aircraft warning, right? So ADSB is working as it should, uh, and I'm sure that's probably over by the airport because I don't see nor hear anybody. But it looks like they're doing something here. I see they had some tractors out here, so they're doing something here in the park. I, I don't know if that's, if they're laying down fertilizer. I suspect that's what that is. And if you look uh, right there, that is the pond that I was telling you about earlier, and they do have a, uh, a walking path that goes all the way around this park. So, pretty cool. I, uh, the city of Boise does a really good job with their parks, and there's a number of these, of these kind of parks. Uh, you know, this, is, this one actually is pretty simple compared to some of the parks that they have. And, uh, you know, making it simpler to fly your drone in these situations is uh, is something that I'm looking forward to. Lots of waterfowl down there. Look at that. 
ducks and geese both just taking advantage of that pond right there uh, and and I'm looking off to the left hand side of the screen there it is pretty clear that they are spreading uh, fertilizer and my guess is it's natural fertilizer and what's this they got something fenced off here so they're doing some sort of construction project here let's drop the camera down and see if we can figure that with that what that is you know I don't know but they definitely got something going on for sure uh, and then there's a play area right there we're gonna stay away from that because obviously uh, we don't want to be over the top of anybody I think we're pretty safe out here in this part of the park I know there's some uh, there's some kids out there on their skateboards, so we can go take a look at that. Uh, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop recording for just a second here. And we're going to switch to the 3 by camera. You're looking at the, uh, at the screen recording right now. We're switching to the 3 by camera. And look at how much that pulls us in. Let's start recording again. I always forget to do that. And maybe we can see some of what some of these kids are doing on their uh, skateboards here. And we're, we're from quite a distance away, so it works pretty good. I'm pulling up and back. We're at about 200 feet high here, and you can see the, uh, the skateboard park. Now, uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to switch to the telephoto lens is to see if we could see the airport off in the distance there and we should be able to uh, to see the uh, the Boise Airport and I'm kind of uh, yeah kind of trying to get my reference here looking at the small screen and I hear yeah there's another uh, uh, airliner coming in and we got a manned aircraft warning just as you would expect so let's see if we can Maybe we can follow him on in. I don't know. Let me see if I can catch him on the screen here. I'm switching around trying to find him. Yeah, no, I, I'm too far this way. There he is. So we, we'll, we'll, we can just follow him in onto the, into the airport there. And you can, you can see where the airport is at. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crop in... Uh, as we uh, with the uh, tell well you know we were on the three by telephoto lens but I'm going to uh, see if I can continue to crop in on that sensor and give you just kind of an idea of how far away from the airport we actually are and uh, you know just one of the cool things about being able to get this kind of uh, approval to fly your drone uh, and you know again we got 400 foot approval here so you can see he's he's flaring out there we are at our max uh, nine times uh, zoom and he is coming in for a landing and there's the that's the Boise Airport that's the main Boise Airport again class C airspace getting uh, getting right zeroed in on him he flew over at just the right time and there he is landed so okay so let's uh let's back out from that and give you an idea of where we are and how far we are from the airport and uh yeah again you know it's uh it's incumbent upon us to fly uh fly respons responsibly so i'm going to stop recording again we're going to go back to that one by uh wide angle camera and so you can see exactly how far away we were. So there we go, starting recording again. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's about it. Uh, we've uh, we've looked at uh, we've looked at pretty much everything here. We can kind of maybe take another peek at the uh, at the skate park here and see what's going on. And uh, then I'm going to do a return to home, and uh, you're going to see the precision of this particular drone. Yeah, I, I see, I was, I was hearing a lot of uh, skateboard noise and some kids that are right there next to me in the parking lot by that pickup right there. So I don't see anybody. Oh no, there's one guy over there in the park itself. Uh, so in any case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, return to home. We're going to call this a flight. Uh, I think we, uh, I think we demonstrated what we were going to, wanted to do there. So I'm going to hit return to home on the controller. 
And we're going to have some fun uh, with this drone, the Precision Return to Home on this drone. You're going to see it land uh, right in the exact spot that it took off from. So, uh, yeah, the action camera is on, so you're going to be able to see that. And it's, uh, it's starting to drop in altitude now. The drone is almost directly above me. And here it comes. And it'll it'll kick the camera down, and we'll see uh, we'll see exactly where it's going to land. And yeah, that spot right there is a little bit off. Yeah, so it was trying to decide if it should land or not. I saw a couple of things come up on the screen there, but look, it's zeroing in right where it took off from. That is almost exactly where it took off from. So uh, fascinating stuff. Uh, this is. Uh, this is good stuff. I like it. <laughs> Nothing but fun. Okay, let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, that was a fun flight. Uh, we have proven that we have been released from the chains of uh, geofencing with DJI drones. Uh, that is something we've been asking for for a long time. Yes, as responsible drone operators, we still need to comply with all the rules and regulations. I want to emphasize that. You got to get, in this case, I'm in Class C airspace, you got to get Lance approval. You have to do it. Uh, but the drone won't stop you. So again, it's on the, uh, on the operator to get that done. Uh, but that said, it makes it so much simpler. And I'm going to use my DJI drones a lot more now in these kind of situations because uh, I just don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to get someplace and not be able to unlock the motors on my drone and fly. So I think it's overall a good thing. Again, fly responsibly. Uh, the Air 3S just uh, never ceases to amaze me. I appreciated having that tele camera. We were able to look at the airport. We were able to follow that one airliner all the way in to where he was landing and you know you could only do that with that uh, having that tele lens on there so that was pretty cool uh, and you got to look at Molinar Park here so I hope you enjoyed that so anyway enough jibber jabber that's about it this is Marcus with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out and if you like this kind of content please consider subscribing to my channel most of all I so appreciate you took the time to watch this video today and yes, we will see you on the next one. Uh, the DJI Air 3S, no more geofencing, yeah.